54th and right the other, 16th and north. It was a crash so violent it shut down a Chicago Expressway. It happened Saturday night involving a van from Milwaukee full of church members. Fox 6's Jenna Sachs spoke with, uh, spoke with the pastor, now out of the hospital. She's live at 18th and Fairmont with how they're all doing. Jenna? The pastor says aside from some aches and pains and general fatigue, he's doing as well as he could hope. He says when the accident happened, the world seemed to slow down moments. Then he saw white and passed out. It was a traumatic experience. It really was. Already a religious man, Pastor Lazar Burnside's faith is even stronger following a terrible crash on the Chicago interstate. I really feel that it could have been a whole lot worse than what it was. After attending a funeral Saturday, Pastor Burnside was driving a church van with 14 people in it back to Milwaukee. I don't know where the car came from. I, when I recognized the car, it was colliding with the van. He says he heard the crash before seeing the oncoming car. They say he was weaving in and out of traffic and he clipped the front end of the van. And when he clipped the front end of the van, the van lost control. And then it ran into the uh, highway wall and bounced off and hit it a second time. And then it just started spinning around. Windows shattered as the van spun and hit two more cars. Then they came to a rest. Most of us were in shock. Uh, there was crying going on. There were uh, a couple of people that was uh, frantic. Uh, my wife had a seizure. All 14 people, including a 20-month-old, were taken to the hospital. One of the members was bleeding really bad. Uh, her shoulder became dislocated, so she was in a lot of pain. Pastor Burnside spent the night in the hospital as doctors monitored possible trauma to his heart. He was released Sunday. No one in the van was seriously injured. It gives me the greatest joy, and it makes my faith in God that much more better. I've always had faith, but it just makes me feel that much more better to know that he had us covered. The car that hit the church van took off. The pastor spoke with a police officer today who told him that driver has not been found. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Jenna Sachs, Fox 6 News. Like any clergyman, there is a sermon in here somewhere. And in this case, I understand uh, the Good Samaritan comes to mind. It, it does. He told us he uh, learned about how many good people are out there in the world. He says a lot of drivers stopped on the interstate to make sure they were all right, and one woman even used her car to block traffic. So he says it was a good reminder there are a lot of good people out there. Jenna Sachs reporting live. Thanks. The trial begins.